Today we're going to share a very powerful testimony of what God did in our prophetic fire conference. There were many people that were healed, and, and God's power just moved miraculously through the conference. But we have a very special mom and daughter here today, all the way from Centurion in Kauteng. And they're going to share what Jesus Christ did for them in the conference. So mom, welcome today, and welcome as well. Thank you so much. And now tell us, what was wrong with your daughter? Well, she's got an illness. Um, we found out when she was in standard eight mm -hmm. that she's got a neurofibrotrosis. That's a growth mm -hmm. that's growing on the nerve system. Right. The doctors couldn't really tell us what's going to happen and how it works. They just said it's a genetic uh, illness. Mm -hmm. And um, what did it do to her? After. A few growths they find, they, they decided to cut it out. Mm -hmm. But it was growing between the nerve system. Right. And these, these um, were th when you say growths, these were tumors. It's tumors, How yeah. many tumors uh, did she have? Well, the first time they cut out 47. 47 no, tumors? Yeah. Okay. Um, wow. Okay, they had one and two and three removed. Right. But the, the at once, they uh, used to take seven out, okay. 12 out, right. but it's keep on growing and they right. can't remove it like all of it because okay. it's be between the nerve system. Right. And uh, so it grows again. Mm -hmm. And about, she was about 20 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, she looked like she had a growth here by the neck. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were quite worried. Mm -hmm. And we took her to an uh, ear, nose, and um, specialist, and they said they have to remove it. Okay. I was quite worried, but in any case, I took it out. And when I got to the hospital, she couldn't talk. Right. They cut the, cut the vocal cord. Okay. The nerve of the vocal cord. Right. So she couldn't speak for three years. For three years, she couldn't speak. Okay. Yeah. And um, they learned. She learned to speak to lift the w one vocal cord, lift it up and learn to speak again after three years. Okay. And, well, she's got a lot of pain all the time because the, the other nerves are still growing, the, 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 mm -hmm. the lim limbs is growing, it's, mm. it's, it causes this pain. Is this is what has been going on all this time. Yeah. Okay, carry on, and then? And it's, well, they can't stop it growing. Mm -hmm. She's just on pain medication. They said which, they can which, just... And she was on serious pain medication, you told me. All the time. All yeah. the time. Yeah, she okay. always had pain. Right. Migraines and, um, well, just pain uh, right. all over her body. Right. And at the stage, she had quite a large uh, amount, well, a big amount of pain in her back. Right. Now, I understand I, that there was an operation on the back, on the yeah. spine, and they took out a tumor from the spine, but the spine did not heal. You were in a lot of pain as a result of that. Tell us about that. Yes, um, they took the tumor out uh, in my spinal cord, mm -hmm. and there's, I had a lot of pain 24-7. Right. I couldn't stand anymore. I had to, to, sell, uh, to sell my horses. I couldn't do horse riding anymore. Okay. Okay. I, I struggled to stand up, uh, I st struggled to sit down, I struggled to get into bed and out of bed, and I have to sleep on, on, a, on the side, not on my back or my stomach mm -hmm. anymore. So I had to learn quite a few, mm -hmm. few things, Right. but the pain never went away. Okay. Sure. How long was it again? I had pain about 22 years. 22 years? Yeah. Wow. Yes. So 22 years, you're in constant pain all the time yes. when you've had these tumors growing all the time. All the time. And they did operations and operations. They took yes. out 47 of the tumors. Yes. And they still kept on growing. Yes. Uh, what else couldn't you do? Oh, I, my tongue, after the operation on my neck, mm -hmm. on the right side, the, my one pupil was bigger than the other pupil. Right. Uh, my tongue was skew. I couldn't right. speak properly. Right. Because I lost my one vocal cord. Right. Um, I couldn't feel my face. It was uh, dead. The fa the your face? You couldn't feel your face? Yes, and my back. And your back? Wherever they so had... So you couldn't feel your face and you couldn't yes. feel your back. That means if, if, if you took your hand, yes. there was no feelings at all? No feeling at all. Okay. And on my back, everywhere they had to operate. 
right. because they worked on the nerve system. Right. It, uh, it, the, it was like dead. Okay. And you get an itch on your back and you, you don't know where it is. Uh -huh. And then you scratch yourself and it's still itching. <laughs> it was so weird. So it was traumatic, very traumatic. Uh, yes, yes, wow. it was very traumatic. Sure. And, and who, and it was your mom was the one that helped you all the time? And yes, she, she, yes, she helped me a lot. Wow. Now, now tell me. me about how did you end up coming here to the Miracle Center? My mom uh, prayed for me a lot. Uh -huh. And she came up to me this one morning. She said, the Holy Spirit spoke to her because uh -huh. we watch you every day on TV. And she, okay. the Holy Spirit said, we have to go to Pastor. Yeah. I'm both on TBN and FBN. She said, the Holy Spirit said, Doctor, pastor, prophet, Siva Mudli is going to heal you. Okay. God told her, we're going to wow. come. We're going to come here and you're going to get healed. Wow. Yes. Praise God. Praise him. Praise so, him. so you, you were going to take her, mom? You were going to take her to overseas somewhere for healing? Yes. I, I was actually in a state because the painkillers was worrying me because she had a... a kidney trouble as well. Right. Now, the kidney problems, if I remember, you had a tumor sitting on your kidneys, yes, right? Yes, yes. And, and was the, what was that doing to your kidneys? It was constant pain. And on your kidneys as well? Yeah, right? yeah. So you had pains on your back, on your kidneys? On my and, legs. And your legs? My yeah. neck. Right. And you couldn't feel your face yes. and your back? And okay. like my, my, one, my right hand, my arm was shorter than the other arm. Oh, it's in your arm was yes, shorter as well. Yes, yes, And tell me, your, your, your tongue, was that... It was problematic at that time as well? Yes, yes. I couldn't because of the nerve? Yes, it was right. it totally sure. paralyzed. Sure. Yeah, I wow. was I'm so skewed. And so, so tell me, what happened on, on Friday night? <laughs> Miracles happened. <laughs> the tumors disappeared. The tumors disappeared, yes, yeah? Yes, my, yeah. Arm, my arm grew the same way. Yes, she, she had one hand that was shorter, and God just grew the hand out, and both the hands were equal. And I didn't realize... When I was praying, I didn't realize the problem why a hand was shorter is because she had an operation on her spine. And, and the operation on the spine had, had, had affected her so much that it had caused the one hand to grow longer and the other hand shorter. But Jesus fixed that. Yes. And, then, and so your spine was healed immediately. Yes. The pain was gone. And then what happened after that? God said to me, you're not finished with it yet. Yes. So I yes. called you and then you said to me, my back is healed. Yes. But there was a pain on your, sp on your spine, on your kidneys. Yes, there was a and, huge tumor. And, and how did Jesus heal that? What happened? You just, you prayed for me and the Holy Spirit just took it away. Jesus just took it Immediately. away. Immediately. Immediately. Uh, God said, just tap her in the side. Yes. And I tapped you in the side where, you, where the tumor was, it disappeared. Yes. yes. And you screamed out, it's flat, it's yes. flat, it's yes. flat. <laughs> yes. So tell me now, God does wonderful miracles. How do you know you heal? What, what has happened now? It's today is from Friday. So it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What's that, like five, six days? Yes. No. How many days is that? Five days? It's five days since we prayed for you. Yes. Tell us what has happened since then. Mom, you tell us. What has happened to your daughter? Because you, you were just sharing with me. Wow. <laughs> well, it's actually crazy. I said to her today... Well, Shanae, I was so used to you staying in bed all day, depressed, pain. I'm just carrying pain tablets. I said, what are you doing? You're in the wash, you do the washing. You do, you're in the kitchen. You're in the garden. She's you're, in the garden. What's the going kitchen, on? She's in washing. Wow. You, you, you're not in the bed. You're not. What's going on with what you? What about the painkillers? What about the painkillers? Is she, are you still taking painkillers? No, no, no. It's completely no, no. off. No. And now, that is, that is from, from Friday. So it's Friday, yes. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So that's six days. Yes. No painkillers. Yes. What would have happened to you by now if you were not healed? I would have been more depressed and I would, would have been more crazy. Because <laughs> <laughs> you get crazy and so and, depressed of all the pain. And you would pain. have felt the pain all the time yes, as well. Yes, yes. Tell us about but, your face and your back because... You told me something very powerful. Tell, you tell us, you tell us. Yes, um, she said to me, uh, um, she can't swallow nicely anymore. And, uh, she feel a, a growth in her neck. Right, and that was before the healing now, right? Yeah. And, and then? Then by the eye as well, she said this, the eye start um, blurring. But right. in the beginning, they said, this um, tumor is going to make her blind and deaf. So they said the tumor wants to make you blind. And, and I deaf. said, 
I block that out. Yes. I'm not going to believe that. Amen. Amen. And that is many years ago. Wow. She cried so much on the way home that yeah. I had to go and fetch her. Right. And I said to the doctor, how can you say this? Yeah. I mean. But, but now, now that God's healed her, tell us about your face now. So when you took your hand yes. and you touched your face, what happened? I could feel, I could feel my back again. You can feel your back, and your I, face. And my face, my tongue is straight. Your tongue is straight because of the nerve. Yes. And so your tongue was crooked. Yes. And when yes. you got healed one time, you, your tongue came straight. Yes. You were talking properly. Yes. Wow. Yes, and I, and I could feel All everything. the tumors have disappeared. Your... Under my arms, the tumors disappeared. <laughs> I'm my kidney. <laughs> wow. And you're hearing as well. Yes. Wow. It was so Come on, amazing. And I said isn't that awesome? <laughs> So, one more time, you've you got to say, this is so powerful. Tell me all the things Jesus has done for you, because now you can go out in the gardening, you can go back to horse riding. And <laughs> <laughs> now it's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you, you got your feelings back in your face, yes. feelings on your back, yes. the tumors have disappeared, yes. the pain has gone from your kidney, pain has gone from your back, got healed. Mm -hmm. Your, your tongue that was crooked got straight. Yes. And your hearing improved as well. Yes. Your hearing, what yes. else was wrong with you that God miraculously healed? My um, migraines. I had. You had migraines as well, yeah. Yes, because of the back, it yeah. went up into my spine and my neck. Wow. And the tumors obviously wow. went and it caused them a pain and then it became a migraine. Wow. And that has been, I've never had a migraine since then. And I used wow. to have one. How, like, how often did you have migraines? Was it like. Ooh. How, many, how often in a week? Uh, like it would stay for two days to three days. Sometimes, Every two or three days you would yeah, have migraines? Yes. Wow. And it would stay maybe for a week, two weeks, okay. two, three weeks. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And it's And tough. he just healed you one shot. One shot. God is amazing. There is nothing he cannot do. God There's nothing amazing. Jesus cannot do. Now, you see, a lot of people don't understand this, you know, because you've been suffering for 22 years. And, and it's an incurable disease. Yes. They've been treating you on painkillers. Mm -hmm. uh, you've been for numerous operations, and they've taken out in total uh, 47 tumors, is right? Mm -hmm. 47 tumors. And they've done operations on your spine, mm -hmm. on, your, on your neck, uh, 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 damaged that, they've damaged your spine. They said you're gonna go blind. Yes. And it took one shot from Jesus to heal you of an incurable disease, remove all oh, the tumors, yeah. heal your back, uh, make your nerves alive again. You could feel yes, your face, feel yes. your back, straighten your tongue, improve your eyesight, and, and, and you're, you're completely healed. You're leading a normal life. And that is awesome. There is nothing that Jesus Amen. cannot do. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. You know, those of you who are watching us right now on TV, you've just heard a very powerful testimony of what happened in the fire conference. There is nothing that Jesus cannot do nothing that he will not do for you. Now, whatever is wrong with you, uh, maybe you've also got an incurable disease. Maybe you're in pain right now. I want you in faith to stretch forth your hands towards the screen. And as you stretch forth your hands towards the screen, I'm going to ask our dear mom, I want you to pray for them. Okay, will you pray for them to get healed? Because God, you know, you're a mighty woman of God. God spoke to you and said to you, you got to go there. <laughs> and you know, you know, I must tell you this before you pray. I was watching the, the video, the uh, broadcast on, on, on the conference, and we did some snippets. And uh, what I didn't know was that you were the altar call, and I prophesied over you. I actually completely forgot about it. And, and, I, and I, when I was watching the snippet, I heard what, what God said through me, and he said, it's, it's over. It's over. Yes. Tell yes. her it's over. Yes. Yes. So you got a prophetic word yes. before God healed you completely. Yes, because Amen. You, you called me and you said, young lady, yes. your life will never be the same again. Wow. And that, right. that, that was before you, he healed me. Yes. And that is so amazing. Oh, That's it's awesome. Just a, Oh, God wow. is full of love. Wow. He's this, is the, this is the power of a living God. Yeah. Oh, Amen. Yeah, the power of a living God. Jesus is this real. Is ah, this real? Jesus now, if you're real. watching us, stretch forth your hands towards the screen. And I'm going to ask our mom to pray for you. And God's going to touch you right now. God's going to heal you. There's a miracle about to happen. And will you also pray as well? Would mom as well? Every person that's watching us, they're going to have a medically impossible miracle just like you did. It was 22 years, 22 years of suffering. Oh, you got to hear that again. 22 years of suffering. 
22 years of suffering, and he took one touch from Jesus. Oh, one touch from Jesus, and he made a hole completely. If you will put your faith in Jesus right now, he will make you whole as well. Amen? Are you ready? Come, let's pray. Mom, let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. We're here tonight because yes. we have this wonderful, wonderful testimony Amen. that God healed my child. Amen. God, you know what I went through, what you went through, and I said, thank you, God, it's Jesus. over. And there's many people tonight thank here Jesus. that is in pain, suffering, that Jesus. really need God tonight. And I Jesus. ask God in Jesus' name, I want Lynette, my best friend, I want her to be healed tonight. Yes. She's got a brain tumor and she's a, get a, have a walking enough, problem. Mm. And I want her, uh, she came for a healing tonight. Amen. And I ask everybody else in this Thank you, Jesus. Uh, ceremony, God, please. Yes, hallelujah. If you could heal Shanae, God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, I pray for everybody that's hallelujah. healed in this church tonight. Yes. God is real. Hallelujah. God, listen to your prayer. Hallelujah. And he will heal you. So now is a new Hallelujah. In God. Hallelujah. Glory. She Glory up to you, with Jesus. A smile on her face because mm. she don't have any pain. Mm. God, and the pain of, in my heart is also gone. And I want these people to know that God can heal you. Know that He's going to heal you. Amen. In Jesus' name, I say thank you, God. Thank amen. you for what you do to us. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And Shanae, will you pray for them? Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Shanae, you, you pray for, for miracles right now. You've had an extraordinary miracle. I want you to pray for, the, for miracles to take place right now. Incurable diseases to be healed. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Dear God, Jesus, Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, Hallelujah. we come to you tonight yes. to give miracles. Mm. Miracles are normal. Amen. If you just have a little bit of faith, Hallelujah. And know that he loves you so much Hallelujah. that he gave his only son for us to have the, Hallelujah. the life forever and ever. Hallelujah. People, I pray for everyone tonight mm. in the church. People Thank you, that Jesus. are watching the TV. Thank you, Jesus. People that the miracles happen and that the heal Thank you, them. Jesus' name. Heal the cancer. Yes. People. Yes. People with Tumors. Yes, we command it to go. People that can't walk. People that Hallelujah. Blind, people that can't hear. Hallelujah. I know Jesus can do anything. Yes. Hallelujah. If he can cure me after 22 years. Yes. He can cure mm, you. Thank you, Lord. And it, God is never late. He's always on time. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Come on.